Hello everybody, um, I'd just like you welcome to you to the uh, quick water rain video um, for the sale of an absolutely superb model. Um, this is the uh, large hull trawler by Mate Fleet Models, the St. Nacton. This is the uh, largest model that um, Mate Fleet make. Um, it's the, the height of the range. I do believe um, that it's it's still available, but it um, needs only to to special order. Um, obviously, just because of the, the price of the kit and uh, its limited limited uh, availability, it's um, plus the amount of time it's taken to build these models and its size. It is um, a sight to behold. This uh, this actual boat uh, was launched in uh, 1936. Uh, it's built by uh, Cook, Welton, and Gamel in uh, Beverley in uh, Yorkshire. It did actually sail out of Yorkshire all of its life. Um, let's say it was launched in 36 and it sailed all the way through right up until 1967 uh, when it was just getting uh, beyond the economical use so it, uh, it was actually sent for scrap but they certainly got the money's worth <laughs> Um, because this was a large boat, it had many refits through its life. Originally starting life as a steam uh, driven vessel, then going on to diesel and heavy oil later on in its life. But as you can see, the detail on these is absolutely amazing, even down to the uh, ship's light boat, lifeboat heads in the back. On the rigging. This whole superstructure does actually remove, so right from the front of the wheelhouse all the way to the back. So it's very easy to get that um, if you need to do any maintenance, which is I would imagine is pretty minimal on the on the model this size. Um, and when I say size, um, it is actually built to one thirty second scale. So the model is 68 inches long and it has a beam of 10 and a half inches. And if you're wondering, it does have a, uh, an all-up weight of 45 pounds, which I suppose for a big model like this is not too bad. Uh, the advantage of this model is it does have a rails actually built inside. Um, so the, the main ballast is all battery, um, it has three three uh, lead acid batteries inside and some main ballast in the rear and they all slide out so if you do want to take it to the lake it is manageable uh, you can slide the batteries out which are the main ballast but uh, I'm sure you'll you'll agree it's an absolutely stunning boat uh, May propeller is uh, a four blader brass it's uh, 50, 55 inch, sorry, 55 uh, millimeters. So quite a big prop. And the motor in this is a Robbie Power 1000. So a huge motor, but slow revving. Um, very, very efficient. This boat is actually silent when it's in the water, and when it is, uh, when it does get launched, it actually sails superbly. Um, there's nothing else touches it on the lake. I mean, every time it goes out, the amount of admirers it gets, and even sat on the side of the lake, um, it's absolutely, you always get swamped with questions, which is sometimes a good thing and sometimes a bad one. Um, it is actually finished in its proper colours, the deck was blue, um, and it's also got the the proper scumble finish on the... Uh, on the deck and the wheelhouse.
there's lots of scale detail in the wheelhouse as well can't really see it on the video on the pictures but it is in there your fish winch lots and lots of detail all of your fish keep nets lots of detail underneath the uh, the shelter deck as well try it get in there if i can sorry about the sun it's a bit a bit low at the moment your anchor winch at the front and the hand windlass all your fishing gallows are very highly detailed the model itself is in very very good condition uh, basically there's not a mark on it it's more or less been used as a display model um, but it's completely up and ready to sail uh, it comes with all its batteries um, there is a 2.4 gigahertz radio system included with the model um, and as I say it does sail superbly it's very very quiet in the water and it's basically the pinnacle in model boats really I mean if you can get a better one it's a good old question I should have said they're going to answer go buy it because these do not come up for sale very often, if at all. I don't think in my 50 years of modelling career I've ever actually seen one up for sale. Because people tend to buy them and they keep them, they do not sell them. But this one uh, has just come up. I have got this other life ring by the way, I forgot to put it on. <laughs> so it isn't missing, it is there. It does have a, a large, if you have a metal geared, sorry, um, JR metal geared servo for the uh, for the rudder, which is quite big. You don't really get a how big this actually is. I mean, that's my finger there. So big port. I will be putting some pictures on as well. Um, this boat is actually going up for sale. Um, it will be on eBay. Um, probably in a couple of weeks time uh, after the Blackpool show if anybody is interested in the model um, and would like to collect it from the Blackpool show then uh, I will be taking it, it can be collected on the Sunday or the Saturday it's only, uh, it's only two weeks off so that's it an absolutely beautiful model The um, retail price of these, just the kit alone from Mount Fleet, is £25 shy of £1,000. That's just the kit alone. And then you've got to build it. <laughs> so it'll probably take your best part of a year to build a kit like this, and paint it, and have it run into a good standard like this one. Um, I don't want anywhere near that. Well, not near that, but within real realistic price, um, it is going up. But I certainly won't be giving it away because, as I say, where will you get another one? And the answer to that is nowhere, because apart from Mount Fleet, I don't, thought, I don't actually know anybody that's got a completed one. So you will be getting a pretty much uh, unique model. Um, certainly never see them sailing maybe it's just because of the size maybe not but they uh, they are lovely when they're on the water and they do actually handle quite well uh, considering um, but yeah very very nice model so I hope you like it if you do please get in touch uh, if you're interested in purchasing it um, please not. No, I can't post it. You won't believe how many people ask me. 
if I've got a model, can you post it? What do you think? No, I can't. <laughs> Sorry to bleat on. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Lovely, lovely model.